God, I'm so nervous now. This is all new. It's okay. Walk you were up. a good coach, though, because I, I, I remembered all the stuff that you did, and and you were right. As soon as I didn't worry about locking on, but, yeah, hitting that guy and, and taking out half of his, that, that didn't suck. Yeah. All right, so what do I need to do, buddy? All right, you just go up this hill. Just go up the hill. No one will attack you. Just sprint here. Yep, and you're going to talk to a bird. Well, not really talk to a bird, but you'll you'll see. Don't skip this cutscene. I want you to watch this, okay. please. It's pretty short. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. I got a vibration. <laughs> That's a big fucking to leave bird. The undead <laughs> asylum. Yeah. That's like shock and awe bird. Or shock and terror bird. To what was that? Birdemic, shock, shock. <laughs> Birdemic shock and terror. Birdemic shock and terror. Yeah. Yeah, that is a big Lord. giant crow. I want to pet that crow. <laughs> are, are we still doing this? Are we still watching this? Yeah. You're being dropped into uh, what's essentially going to be the main hub area of the game. See, I would see those graphics and say, that's so cool. They are cool. Even still? Or is this the remat because it's remastered, is it? It's remastered, I just I don't so know. I I it just looks cool to me, funny. but you know, I could see Angry Joe going, Oh, those graphics aren't you know, or whatever. Or what's it, Alex? Which one's the smart one? The big guy's the smart one. Yeah, yeah, Alex is the tall one. And then there's the other two, and then there's Joe, and then there's other Joe. Do I need to listen to this guy? Or? Go talk to, uh, he's irrelevant. You don't have wow. to talk to him. So I can yes. skip through this? That yeah, just keep, skip point. through all that. Look at those he's soul points, baby. Do I get, like, can I redeem those for, like, Turn cash around. and prizes? Here's what we're going to do. Go to the bonfire in the middle. All right. Right there. Press A to rest. Take a look at the bottom left screen. What do you see? Look at next to your Estes flask. What's that number? Ten. Oh. Notice out before you were only getting five, five, and now yeah. you have ten. So, let's stay on this menu for a moment. I need uh, to hold on. Hold it. on. Okay, let me, let me, let me. All right. Okay. So, bonfires are a little can be. So here's a sort of a hidden mechanic that's not thoroughly explained. But do you see the option to kindle? Yes. Don't go hover. Don't go to it or don't click A. I just wanted to explain what kindling means. When you kindle a bonfire, think of it like you're putting extra, like, dry kindling onto, like, a campfire. The more kindling you put onto it, the stronger the fire gets. And when you kindle a bonfire, you're strengthening that particular bonfire. And when you rest at that specific bonfire that's been kindled, it doubles the amount of Estes flasks you get when you, uh, when you rest at it. So you go from just capping at 5 Estes to 10 Estes. Now keep in mind, when you kindle a bonfire, it's specific for each individual bonfire in the game. So it's not like you do it on one and all the bonfires have it. So you gotta like, there's a strategy in terms of picking and choosing which bonfires you want to kindle for those extra, those extra flasks. But you're gonna tell me which ones to do, because I yes. was, I was just thinking about whether or not we're actually recording the screen. And so I didn't hear a word you said. Okay, I'll, I'll just, don't worry about it for now. All but you the, need to know but is But the viewers this... at home, the viewers at home understand now, even though I probably most of the viewers are yelling at me for being such a dumbass. All right, so what do we do from here? So do we, are we going to kindle? No, we're not kindling. It's already kindled. Oh. I, just, just for the sake, just for now, this exact bonfire in this, in this area will double your Estus when you rest at it. All the other bonfires are just going to bring you up to five. Okay. And if you're above five, you'll just stay at the numbers. So am I gonna, do I wind up coming back here? Oh, anything? yeah, you'll be coming back here multiple times. Oh, okay. All this right, is so like, this is This is sort base. of like this. It's, yeah, it's like, a, think of it like the home base. And, like, All right. is this dude the butler or the cook? That dude's just chilling. <laughs> I, no, he's he's literally just chilling. I'm, uh, go oh. to that well with the sparkle thing and press A to pick it up. Okay, so that item is called humanity. So... 
We're not going to use it now, but I will demonstrate it at the next bonfire we get to. But essentially, what humanity does is when you use one humanity, it brings you back into, it brings your character back into their human form. It essentially brings them sort of back to life. They, they go from looking like beef jerky to just normal humans and whatnot. Okay, so you can rehydrate beef jerky people with your humanity. With your humanity, yes. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this is also important. While you're in your undead form, while you're in beef jerky form, you cannot be invaded. Nor can you co-op. You can't participate in online gameplay when you're in beef jerky form. But if you go into human form, then you can co-op, but you're also going to be subject to potential invasions from other players. Uh, okay. Before we lose people, because we're talking about a lot of stuff that some people probably already know, should we maybe just keep going here? Yeah, let's keep going. I okay. agree. So, All right. as we go, you can tell press me... A. You gotta press A twice every time you pick up an item to get the prompt to go away. So, right. don't forget that. It's a visual thing. Okay. Alright, so, stop stop right there. Pan your camera to the right. Go forward. No, 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 sorry. Left. See where that opening is? To the right. To the right. Go through that. Now, go up those stairs. Oh, sorry. Go to the right again. Keep going to the right. There's a there's another opening far on the right. Mm, to the right. Now go to the far right. You're I'm way you're way you're I'm already inside. Hold on. Okay. To All the right. far right. That opening. This one right. No the, no 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 no. All right. Uh, okay. I am I am right now standing standing on the blood stain. All right. Now where do you want me to go? Pan your camera to the left. All right, do you see the opening uh, just by going forward? Sort of on the right side of where you're viewing right now. Go through there. That's what, yeah, yeah, go through there. Now, yep, go through there. Go at the very end. There's some, uh, some items for you. Fire bombs. Okay. Turn around, go back the way you came. So is this shit that they hide that you have to go find that like they don't tell you that it's there it's, you've got to find it? Or so I'm coming out of here now? Yeah, go back to the bonfire you were just at. It'll be in the middle of the ruins. Yep, right there. We are going to level up your character. I forgot we should do this first before we continue. All right. Go down go down to level up. All right. Now press A to level up. Okay. I want you to put one point in dexterity. But, but, but don't tell anyone you did that. Uh, okay, well, I don't. What, okay. Oh, dexterity. Use the D pad. Yep. And now. Okay, so, right. okay, one point up. All Just right. to. Re, Dad, this is very important. Don't tell anyone you leveled up dex. Just, just don't tell anyone you leveled up dex. I have a reputation to uphold. Uh, okay. Okay, go up once, go to strength. See if you can dump two points into strength. Now press... Go all the way down and accept. Did you accept? Yeah. Oh yeah, you now press accept, press A. And you gotta pan... Yep, confirm. Now you gotta confirm. Go to okay. Okay. Now press B to back out. Okay, Dad. We're gonna get you a weapon. That's pretty much going to be your primary weapon for the rest of this game. All right. If it proves to be too challenging... Actually, okay. Give me a moment to think how I want to go about this. The music is sad. It's sad music. Okay. We're going to go for your primary weapon, which you can get right now, but uh, it's going to... It's going to take... It's, it's going to... You're going to have to duck and dodge through some... You, you'll see what I mean. All right, pan your camera right. to the left. To the left, all right. Yes. Now, go up into that entranceway forward. Yep, yep, yep. Now, pan your camera to the left. Go through that entrance. Yep, where you see where the bird's kind of hovering over. 
Now if you go through here and you pin your camera up, there's the crow. Right. He's such a good bird. He's such a good bird. <laughs> oh, he's such a big old crow. All right, so what Super am I doing? Sized. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you're going to go forward into this pool, and then you're going to take a left. Go through there. Immediately pan to the left. Go through that opening. Now hug into the wall to the left. Now hug the wall and go forward while hugging the wall. And there, pillage the corpse. You get a soul of the lost undead. I'll explain what that does a little later on. We don't have to worry about it for now. Okay. Now, go back the way you came. Hug the wall so you don't accidentally fall off. Go to the left. Now you're going to go through that opening. Yes. Don't go up the stairs. You're going to keep left. And you're going to go down that way. Okay. Stop for a minute. Now. This is the graveyard. There's one specific weapon basically at the end of the graveyard I'd like you to pick up. All right. Now. Is that it? Is that it? Where I can see the... the... That's not it. It's further in. Okay. Is this something that you can now, tell me while I'm walking? Yeah, but I got to warn you. Once we get into, into the graveyard, skeletons are going to start rising. Don't fight them. Just run past them. They are higher level than you. You're not going to be able to take them on right now. But we're essentially rushing to pick up one weapon. You can die at the end. As long as you pick up the weapon, that's all I care about. Okay, and when I get there... Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's. So, what am I doing? Am I? So I'm just. Right. I'm just. I'm just sprinting through the. I'm just. A, yeah, I'm just you're running through. Okay. So what? Where am I going here, buddy? Or am I going okay. down these stairs? All right. So let's start at the base of the stairs. Okay. Start going forward and hold down B to sprint. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. You know, past the skeletons. Past the skeletons. Yep. Keep going down the path. 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 No. Oh, no. No. Forget, forget that. Fuck that. Go. Down the path, down the path. Go, go. All right. I can't right. see anything. Press, press A. Press A to accept. All right, yeah, get around the skeletons. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Up, up that path, up that path, up that path. Right. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. There we go. Oh. Now you are free to die. Oh. Don't worry, Father. We ac You accomplished what I wanted you to accomplish. Okay.